together here at beautiful Pedro St. James, where the sky meets the water and the water meets the land. To share in this formal commitment, Brad and Susan will make to one another. Each of you has played an important role in their lives. And as Brad and Susan are about to start their married life together, they are thrilled to be surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. My darling Brad, words can't do justice to what I feel when I'm around you and what's in my heart. What my words can do is share with you my promises to you on this day and for the rest of our days together as husband and wife. I promise to be your best friend, to give you the best of myself, and to have your back no matter what, even if you won't let me put tiger balm all over it. <laughs> I respect you for the man that you are now and will become. I love you not only for who you are, but who I am when I'm with you. You make me a better person. You lighten me up with your ability to not take life too seriously, especially when you break out some crazy, silly dance moves in the kitchen. <laughs> I promise to say I'm sorry when I've misstepped and to forgive you quickly when I do too. I promise to remember that neither one of us is perfect, but I will strive to remind myself of the ways that we're perfect together. I will be patient with you when I ask you something and you do your usual no, no first, knowing that a day later, it might be a yes. <laughs> and I promise to use our yes dear code word strate strategically and not to overuse it. My darling Suzanne, the love of my life, my best friend, my partner. I'm so very lucky to be marrying you today. Before I met you, I had never even considered marriage. But after being with you, it's all I wanted. I will always remember our first date at the Asian Street Fair. When you walked around the corner for the first time, my stomach dropped. I could not believe how beautiful you were and how your smile lit up the entire room. You did have me at hello. <laughs> Since that night, I've been awe, in awe of your intelligence, patience, drive, energy, and your incredible ability to put up with me and my legendary stubbornness. <laughs> As we enter into this chapter of our lives, I vow to always Try to say yes before no. <laughs> Try to. You're hearing it for, here first. <laughs> <laughs> Always look after the currency exchange when we travel. <laughs> Good. Limit the yes years to a bare minimum. Yes. Call, always call when I am on my way home from PDs. Yes. <laughs> I will always want to do the dishes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll always cook fantastic meals for you. I'll always open the door for you. I'll always keep you relaxed with a smile on your face. I'll always grab your perfect butt. And I'll tell you how beautiful you are and how much I love you. I'll always kiss you goodnight and wake up 15 minutes before I have to get up so we can have our cuddle time. I will give you kisses in the morning before I go to work and tell you that I know I am the luckiest man in the world. I'll always love you, respect you, protect you, and worship you. Our forever starts today. share all of my crazy ideas with you and encourage your dreams too and we'll always be there to shoulder our challenges in good times and bad so that you never have to walk alone as my heart will be your shelter and my arms will be your home I promise to always appreciate when you get up from the movie just to make me the yummy popcorn, then to cringe when you see me dump nutritional yeast all over it. 
And I will always smile when you bring home a bag of Tostitos, hint of lime chips, to know that we both have the same weird pleasure <laughs> of licking <laughs> off the seasoning on the chips. <laughs> That's weird, right? <laughs> Not for us. No, that's right. <laughs> I promise that I will respect the differences in our energy, knowing that you need your couch time, time just to chill out and unwind. And I now have time, since now I have time to watch TV, I totally promise you that I will not watch ahead of any episodes of Stranger Things. <laughs> yes. With all my promises, I want you to know, this is the serious part, I've never taken this commitment to anyone as seriously as I do with you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. You are my best friend, my partner in this adventure called life. I love our life and I love our fur baby family. You make me so happy, so happy. And I'm so incredibly grateful that the universe brought the two of us together so that we could become better people together. The whole is greater than the sum of the parts. I choose you today, tomorrow, and in a hundred lifetimes, in a hundred worlds, I find you and I choose you. I feel so honored to call you my husband. I feel so blessed to call you my beloved. I love you, my kind-eyed darling. Susan and Brad, you have heard the words about love and marriage, have exchanged your vows and made your promises, and celebrated your union with the giving and receiving of rings and the joining of hands. By the virtue of the authority vested in me, by the laws of the Cayman Islands, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Brad, you may see you. You may kiss your bride. <laughs>
than pleased that you are Suzanne's husband. I guess I'll just say congratulations to you both, to my brother, to my new sister. I'm so excited to have a sister. I'm so happy for you both. This was such a beautiful love story right from the beginning. I'm so excited and proud of you. I love you both. <laughs> I can safely say, I don't think I've ever seen you happier than today when you were watching Susan walk up to you. So if you could all raise your glasses and we'll have a toast to happiness for the bride and groom.